Yeah, it's Hobbs Horror, knocking down your door, all about the guts and gore, blood and pus, give him some more, he wants bone and entrails for across the floor, so if you're looking for that theater macabre, look no more, sit back and relax and enjoy some Hobbs Horror. Thank you for watching Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit, good shit, good shit. Welcome to the 12 Days of Axmas, presented by Mr. Bones. Now, this particular film focus is going to be on ATM. Now, this is a movie that he also selected, but we didn't know we were going to select it. <laughs> and uh, I always thought of this as a Christmas horror film, but some people don't, but I do because of the premise. So let's talk about ATM. Now, ATM is a 2012 film directed by David Brooks, who also directed Gone, and a movie called The Den, which I believe I've seen, but I'm not entirely sure. It has a runtime of one hour and 30 minutes. It has a special release by IFC Midnight, confirmed. Uh, that is one that I, I used to have. I don't own it anymore, but confirmed from the Cheetah. It is an IFC Midnight. There's two different versions. The IFC Midnight Edition, to me, is the one I do remember having, being the more superior version, but I might not be able to confirm that. However, what you have here is three friends after leaving a Christmas party, you know, having a little bit of fun. They need to go get some money as they're going to continue the festivities at their homes. When all of a sudden, on the way home, they get locked in an ATM. And outside of an ATM an ATM like a, like a certain areas have smaller lots where they have a small building where you can go in you know for weather purposes and stuff sit down and, and be at the ATM machine I don't see those where I'm at a lot but they have these and they get stuck in this particular ATM because there is a deranged killer on the loose that is threatening to kill them on the outside and whatnot. Now, interesting fact about this particular film, the suit that you see there for the killer is the exact same suit worn by the killer in Urban Legend from 1998. Literally the exact same suit. So essentially they've got to find a way to deal with this guy because he's, you can barely see him and he wants to kill them. And it's dark, it's after hours, so you know it's hard to find help. And the cell phones aren't really working properly, so they're having a lot of trouble. Anyways, I absolutely loved this movie. If you guys have not seen this one, this is an absolute must-watch. I love the atmosphere. I thought the acting was great in it. Um, obviously, Midnight puts out a lot of distribution for some really good movies. This is one of the first ones I recall seeing. And I do remember getting it at a family video and bringing it home and watching it and being astounded with it. Um, like I said, the acting was great. You have a different elements there. How are they going to survive? How are they going to get past him? You just basically have to watch it and see. Now, I don't understand, again, it's one of those films where it gets a lot of hate. I don't get the hate for ATM. Um, it was creative. It was different. It's kind of like that movie... Uh, Frozen, where they're stuck up on the ski lift. I like to see those type of films where they're, people are put into different predicaments and whatnot and get to find a way to overcome it. It was kind of in that same that same vein. But um, So this is ATM. This is my recommendation to you all to check out. Let me know if you've seen this, your thoughts on ATM. Go check out Mr. Bones as we're getting closer and closer to the end of our 12 days of Axmas. Catch up with you guys later. Have a great Christmas. Peace.